Thanks. Thanks. Can you go? Uh, coach, uh, another weekend, great weekend. Uh, probably not the case, the desired results, but a, uh, a true reflection of the capabilities going forward. Yeah, most definitely in terms of the results, not what we really wanted because we played at home so we are against City. But uh, in terms of performance, uh, they were very happy. Uh, although we're a little bit lethargic because I think uh, probably we had a uh, few players away in national due to only on the day before the game. But nevertheless, I think uh, the guys played very well. And, uh, now we had only about one or two days to, to play M10-8, which is a big game for us. But I think uh, we are in the right space. You know, the mood is okay in camp, which is uh, very encouraging. There are certain keys that are giving you guys that extra performance. We see Bradley and uh, Tami up front. We see how Sifo is gelling nicely with Dean. Uh, you know, that gives you strength a lot going forward, but defensively, it's still a bit of a concern, would you say, coach? Yeah, but uh, uh, not really. I think uh, we didn't, you know, there were a lot of individual mistakes, you know, against uh, City. Uh, the three goals which we uh, conceded, I think it was more of in the individual mistakes more than anything else. I think that's one thing we can work on, we can you know, try and improve. Uh, but at the same time, I think we're looking more dangerous going forward, like you mentioned, Sipo Mbule, and uh, the combination of Bradley and, uh, and, uh, and Gabuza is really working for us. Uh, I think uh, those three, especially Gabuza and Bradley, they put in a lot of work, you know, the pressing as well. Uh, we start with those three in terms of pressing. And we got also Obi coming back, you know, to really match full fitness. I think we will have more fire, firepower going forward. And that's the, just the key, the firepower that's there. I mean, the likes of Balinga, they're still in the mix also. Uh, when you look at that, was this was always the plan, coach, or making sure that up front you are as heavy as you are right now? Yeah, yeah. If you look at it last season, we. We didn't really score a lot of goals because uh, we didn't have, you know, depth and you know options, you know, especially now wide. Uh, as we want to play more attacking and uh, with more speed, and that's why we brought in uh, Mahach and Kalinge, and you know, to give us more options as well, you know, because last season we didn't really have that. We we didn't really have uh, depth when we didn't have when Aubrey and uh, Evans didn't perform or were injured. Uh, we struggled in that area, so that's why we brought in. You know, a little bit more options, you know, going forward. And I think it's it's really working for us. And uh, they still, you know, Kuda and uh, Kalinga to play a huge role going forward. Now, this match never fails to, to produce goals. Sundown versus uh, Super Sports United. But this specifically, this one, goals are crucial, especially with the leg at 1-1. And particularly at the, at the moment as we stand, it's against you. Yeah, but uh, at the same time, I think the pressure is on Sundowns because uh, the longer it gets, it's 0 0, the pressure is still on them. Uh, if we score first, the pressure is still on them. If they score first, mm -hmm. the pressure is still on them because we are still in the game. Uh, but at the same time, for us, it's uh, game management. We need to really try and manage the game you know, better. Uh, than our previous game against City because I thought we didn't manage the game, you know, especially when we went forward. When we went ahead, you know, in the fifth minute, we kind of like, you know, let it a little bit, you know, too exposed, you know, so that's why they came back. So we need to do that better because we're also playing against a very good team. Uh, Sundowns have got good quality individuals. So we need to try and manage the game better, especially, you know, in critical phases. How do we keep Compose and stay humble. Bradley was talking about as the coaching staff and the players as a club as a whole, you're running away from getting too excited. Yeah, I think it's also you know good when it is also coming from the players because I think it's still too early in the season and uh, we always try and take it game by game. Uh, the next game is the one which is always important and uh, uh, we've been doing that. And I think uh, the guys also are buying into that. Uh, and it's also it's a performance. Uh, you are just as good as your last game. And that's what we're trying to preach to the, with the, with the players.
Everybody cool? Yeah, we're cool. Thank cool. you. Thank Thanks you. So much.